Welcome to the channel. In the third episode of our series on rare diseases, we'll be discussing Hutchinson-Gilford progeria syndrome. Whether you've heard of this condition or you're simply interested in learning more about it, this video is for you. Let's dive right in. Hutchinson-Gilford progeria syndrome, also known as HGPS or progeria, is a rare genetic disorder that triggers premature aging in children. It results from a mutation in the LMNA gene, which generates the lamina protein that supports the cell nucleus structure. The mutation generates an abnormal form of lamina known as progerin, which builds up in cells and leads to early aging. Progeria seems to manifest randomly and is believed to be caused by an autosomal recessive genetic mutation. Progeria falls under the category of progeroid syndromes. Progeroid syndromes are a group of diseases that cause accelerated aging and a premature elderly appearance. A study conducted in the Netherlands has revealed that the incidence of progeria is 1 in every 20 million births. Currently, there are 179 reported cases of progeria worldwide in 53 countries, with 18 of those cases identified in the United States. The Progeria Research Foundation speculates that there may be as many as 150 undiagnosed cases of the condition worldwide. Children with progeria usually appear normal at birth, but by the age of 18 to 24 months, they start to develop symptoms of aging such as hair loss, thinning skin, and a loss of body fat. They may have a large head in proportion to their face, a narrow nasal ridge and tip thin lips, a small mouth, and retro in micronethia. The condition also causes cardiovascular problems, wrinkled skin, kidney failure, and loss of eyesight. Children with progeria have a shortened lifespan, typically living only until their late teens or early 20s, and suffer from musculoskeletal degeneration, stiff joints, hip dislocations, and other symptoms. However, they usually retain typical mental and motor function. There is currently no cure for progeria, and research is ongoing to find better treatments. In November 2020, the FDA approved lonifarnib to prevent the buildup of defective progerin proteins, and a clinical trial showed significantly lower mortality rates with the drug compared to no treatment. Other treatments include growth hormone, coronary artery bypass surgery, low-dose acetylsalicylic acid, morpholinos, farnesyl transferase inhibitors, and sirolimus. RNA therapies that block the production of progerin at the RNA level is a more specific approach that is being researched. Two studies led by researchers at the National Institutes of Health used different drug delivery systems on progeria mice found treatments that reduced the production of harmful progerin RNA in various tissues. The treatments targeted different RNA sequences and resulted in a longer lifespan for the progeria mice. Additionally, a combination treatment of RNA therapeutics and the FDA-approved drug Zocandy was found to be more effective in reducing progerin protein levels in the liver and heart. The results from these studies are seen as a major advance for targeted progeria therapeutics, and clinical trials for these treatments are being planned. I hope that this video has been an eye-opener for you. If you or someone you know is affected by HGPS, please know that you are not alone. There are organizations and support groups available to help you navigate the challenges of this condition and connect with others who understand what you're going through. One such organization is the Progeria Research Foundation, which is dedicated to finding a cure for HGPS and improving the lives of those affected by this condition. We encourage you to visit their website for more information and resources. Thank you for watching, and please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or comments. Give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you found this informative and helpful or want more of these types of videos. See you in the next one.